Isolating and hiding objects. Layer states allow us to use layers to control the display of objects. But AutoCAD has other commands that we can display, which we can isolate or hide particular items. These are for more of a temporary type thing. So we can temporarily isolate or temporarily hide some things. So we've, we have down on the status bar down here, we have a button called Isolate Objects. When I click on it and say, I want to isolate an object, I'm going to click on these two pieces of text. And then when I hit enter, it's going to isolate them. It's going to turn everything else but those two pieces of text. This is kind of handy when I want to get in and change those two pieces of things. And then when I'm done, I come back, hover over it, click on again, say end object isolation. Everything comes back. All right. So um, I can then as well I'll go over to this button in here and click on I have hide objects so I can go and click on an object say what objects do you want to hide I want to hide that text and I get it enter and that text goes away and it's temporary hidden and I can work on other things when I want that text to come back I can come back here and I can say in object isolation and the text will come back this is a very handy way that allows us to um, hide and isolate objects on a very temporary basis. So we're doing a one-time thing. So typically if you want to get into the nitty-gritty of something, you can isolate it and just see that one object. Or if something's in your way, you can hide that object and get it out of the way for the time frame while you work around that object or near that object. So we'll use isolating and hiding objects located down here on the status bar. And when we click on it, we can either isolate or hide them. So, and when we're done, we have to unhide or unisolate the objects.